Hi, this is Wintoy, and today I am drawing Venom. I'm going to try and draw a full bit, uh, like figure of Venom. Um, I'll probably get like interrupted halfway through by the kids, but not to worry. I shall soldier on and draw Venom. I'm just drawing out like uh, the you know rough idea of the figure. Um, don't have to be perfect because art is never perfect only the creation of your imagination can be perfect within your own mind <laughs> anyway I'm just drawing the legs there And really, it's, it's through this uh, fast sketching stage that you you can really see the image and really try and draw it the way you want. You know, based on uh, the rough sketch. I mean, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But so, most times, it's just best to run with the you know sketching stage, see if it works. And on this stage. It's near enough whacked. Um, I'm unhappy with the legs, but I've just, uh, I've just run with it. Ooh, pencil snap, I'm mad. These things happen. <laughs> and you know, yeah. All that really matters is getting this idea down on paper, and you know, just to see if it really works. You know, certain drawings work, certain drawings don't. So, you just see what works. <laughs> In drawing figures especially, it's it's really about finding that, um, that way of, of getting them all down on, on paper and, you know. Stretch his head a bit and do like the uh, do like the eyes. Draw that tongue in there, you know, like a, a weird alien tongue hanging out and. Try and do the the main elements of this venom design. Um, you know, a classic Spider-Man villain. Just trying to find them arms a bit more. You know, just to you know really jazz it up. I'm going to try and give him like longer than normal. Um, hands, uh, you know, with claws and stuff like that, because that's what I like about Venom, you know, his, his suit can change, you know, you know, with the alien symbiote stuff, you know, can change, change form, really, and that's what I like a bit better, you know. And a lot of artists from Marvel have drawn Venom, like, different ways, this and that, so, you know, um, but I like, I like drawing him this way. To work on that hair. Uh, like costume, like a uh, spider type design. Using like my black uh, Crayola pencil again, just to make the lines darker. I say that, and I'll probably shade later on you know, with this as well. So
I like drawing the teeth in this, you know, because it's sort of like uh, a demonic design, so, you know, I'm a fan of these demons, so. even though it's like an alien type uh, design, you know, but it's almost demonic in the way you draw the teeth and that, so I always like that bit. It's been some artists, like a Marvel drawing the Drawing the face like over the top and you know uh, teeth all out of place and stuff, which is fine. You know it looks looks great as a visual, but I like to try and keep it more like a real size proportion of the head and stuff like that. Um, you know, um, although you could go mad with it, but I prefer not to. Oh, that, oh, that tongue is uh, fairly wild, you know. <laughs> it looks like uh, a large tail. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, just try and add a bit of solid form to these arms, you know, and, and the whole figure really. Because um, I'll, I'll start to shade with this, um, you know, Crayola black pencil crayon. So as long as the figure looks okay, you know, you can just carry on with it. Um, there's no really sense of like stopping um, just because you make a mistake here and there uh, because you know drawings of this and that you can just move on from one drawing to the other and not worry about you know the mistakes you've made here and there you just start another drawing because um, that's the way I roll really you know it's there's no point looking back on your old drawings just you know, start a new one. I mean, obviously, like uh, looking back on your old drawings could be useful um, as some sort of view, point of view of a, like uh, seeing how, how you've improved over the years, that type of thing. Uh, but other than that, ideas are ideas, and being inspired is just about creating more new stuff all the time and that's uh, that's pretty much what you know you should be doing anyway that's what I do so I'm finishing off the hand there I mean the larger than normal I mean the larger than his head so you know but that's the way of the costume really you, you know the the alien costume, so I like to draw it that way. Finish that other hand off there. Um, obviously, I roughed it out in, uh, you know, like uh, with a mechanical pencil, just quickly, and uh, I just try and fill in the gap of um, doing guesswork, really, of how the, you know, the fingers could look. And that's it, really. extra muscle lines in there just to just to help that act as a guide later on to add a bit of shading in here and there because uh, the costume is like 
like a black colour, but then in the comics, like it's um, the lighter areas are blue. So um, you just you just go along with it, really. You know, that's the way of the uh, the comic book code. Oh, uh, this spider emblem's a bit of a bit of a tricky one, but that's the way it is. Yep, get out. <laughs> my daughter there just uh, coming in and uh, you know, ruining my video, but there we go. Then some might say I ruined it all by myself. <laughs> nah. Sometimes a spider emblem on Venom's chest is uh, a bit tricky to do, um, especially the legs and stuff like that. So it's best just to try and draw this separate if you can, uh, because it can be slightly tricky. But again, if you practice at these things, you know, it it should work out to you know, your, your advantage. Luckily, I've tried to draw this uh, a few times. Um, not perfect, like, but um, it's fun nonetheless, you know. Get told by my voice. It's very fun. <laughs> so there. Start to add a bit of shade in here and there. Um, I probably will do this in real time because it uh, it can just get a bit boring just watch me uh, add a bit of uh, shade in here and there. But once you start adding, adding a bit of the shade in, like it looks more like uh, more solid um, in the figure, and it looks more like comic book like. So, you yeah. know, I mean, they had fun with this joint. Here we go. There we, I've just added a bit of shade in here and there, and uh, just rough shade in just to add a bit more to the form, and. That's all you do, really. Um, it's not a perfect drawing like most of my videos, but um, hopefully you can see the benefits of starting out a drawing, um, just working things through in your own mind and your own, you know, space. <laughs> 